the middle of the week and we're here again. I hope you've had a wonderful day and I hope you had a lovely time at home and I hope you've got all your work almost done for the day. So we're going to get you off, we're going to get you moving. Have you got your sheet with you? This is the sheet that I mentioned yesterday. Oh, I'm just going to grab it. It's one like this, it comes off of the bed. Any sheet that you could hold with someone because today you need to be getting your brothers or sisters, your nannies or granddads, your mums and dads, anyone that lives in your household to come and help you with a sheet. So when I say go and grab them, you go, come on, let's go and do some mini movers with Miss Philpot. We're going to get our sheets and our bears. You need two bears today, maybe three bears if you want to put on your cover because we're going to bounce them later on. So if you want to go and grab them now, that's fine. Go and run and grab them and we'll sit down on the floor and we'll do some of our mini movers songs, our first songs that we do, when we do our cheeky toes. We're gonna go and sit down on the floor. So we're gonna say hello to everybody. And we're going to wiggle our fingers. Wiggle those fingers. And scrunch your butt nose. <gasps> we're going to tap our toes. Tap, 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 tap. Are they behaving today? They never behave. Oh no, cheeky toes, those toes. I told them to behave today. Let's get them in. They're tapping. Oh, are they gonna behave? <gasps> no, they're not. Oh no, cheeky toes. Let's hope they behave this time. We're gonna bring them in. Remember, not on your heels. We don't want that. We want nice taps. They are behaving. And now we're gonna give them a little clap. And everybody say a very big hello! Hello everyone today. Now we're going to jump up and we're going to do a whisper. Shh, a whisper song. Here we go. Bend those knees. You know this one now. It's been the first time you've done it. Really, really want to whisper. Shh, I'm really, really, really want to Shout! I really want to tap my little finger And then I really want to stomp about I really, really, really want to whisper I really, really, really want to shout I really want to tap my little finger Let's do a lovely move. We'll do that one today. <gasps> Should we do another one? Can you show me your moves? You can do any move you want. Should we do another one? Yay! Give yourself a clap. Excellent. That's our first song. Second song out where we can win our first song. <gasps> so you now got to go and get your sheets. Can you do that for me? So, just call for some help, because I need some little helpers to help me with this one today. Go off and get your mummies and daddies, whoever you've got there, your brothers and sisters. Come on, guys. Ray, come and hold the other end of the sheet. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to put these down on the floor, and we're going to get our bears to put on top. So, you come and sit down, Ronnie. <laughs> come and sit over this side. Shall I get the bears? We'll get the bears. Can you get the other one for me that's way over there, Sarah? Here we come. Oh, there we go. Come on in, Ronnie. And we need to all hold <laughs> the edge of the sheet. Can you hold the edge of the sheet? Mm. Very good. You're going to put your bear on. Here we go. Ready? Ready? And we're going to hold the bears up. I 
everybody, have you gone and got your cushions? Oh, you sit really nice and comfy. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. are. We're ready for story time. I really want to lay down. You can lay down if you want to. Come and join us, everybody. Come and join us for story time. So, yesterday, we had a book about a bear. And this is the follow-up book, My Friend Bear. And it's all about bears again because we've done lots of things with our bears today. So, you hope you're snuggling with your bears at home. We've got nice relaxing music on in the background. So if you want to lay down like Ronnie, you can. Right. Eddie's walking with his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Freddy said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel so sad, but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing and Eddie sighed again. Oh, I wish you could talk, he said, and then. Wow, look up there, up there on that stone, a giant teddy all on his own. We see him be fair, he belongs to the bear who lives around this wood somewhere. Suddenly, something made Eddie turn around, a snuffling, scuffling, bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined, where's my teddy? He's coming, he's coming, let's hide, cried Eddie. The great big bear came shuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered. What can I do? I've got no friends apart from you, and you can't talk, and you don't care. I'm such a sad, sad and lonely bear. Then, just as he brushed a tear from his eye, a little voice whispered, You can talk to me. The bear could not believe his ears. He gulped, sniffed, and wiped his tears. You can talk after all, he cried. Oh, of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why did you talk before, he said. B -b 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 because I'm scared, said the voice. I'm small and shy, and you're a great big bear. That's why? There, there, said the bear. You are in a muddle. What you need is a great big cuddle. Oh, no, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared now. You're my teddy. Oh, no, I'm not, cried the voice. It's me, Teddy. Oh, no, he was very scared. The bear stared at Eddie and clung on to his teddy. Eddie stared back and hung on to Freddy. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin and he felt a chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop it, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? asked the bear with a frown. <laughs> it's you, giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. <laughs> You're such a big silly old bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelped Teddy. You thought, ha ha, you had a talking teddy. Then the bear began to snigger. The smile on his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. I'm a silly bear, he giggled. A talking teddy, I thought it was true. But all along it was really you. The bear hound out his giant sized teddy, crouched down behind it and said, Hello, Eddie. I'm talking teddy. Listen to me. I'm not clever and I'm only free. Then Eddie wanted to have a go. He held up his teddy and squeaked, Hello, my name's Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. They laughed and they laughed till their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and they laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song. And he made up the words as he wobbled along. Oh, I'm silly, he sang, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Wahoo, sang Eddie, and I'm as silly as you. And your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon, they played in the sun, seeing just who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set in the sky, 
they knew it was time to say goodbye. We're friends, said Eddie. The bear said, who? You know, said Eddie, me and you. The bear lifted Eddie up for a hug. Hairy, berry, safe and snug. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. Well, well, we'll come back soon, whispered Eddie. Then off they walked with, with a smile and a wave, back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends is for. He's doing a lovely picture of his teddy. <gasps> we are going to see you all tomorrow. I just want you to listen to the rain music before we go. Have a little rest, lay down, use your cushions, use your bears. I want to see someone else. Have a little rest. I you can lay wherever you want else. to. A little rest. Tomorrow, <laughs> bye. Tomorrow, well, you will need your bears. Um, you would need your cushions again, um, and you would need your wooden spoons. Can you bring all that tomorrow for me? And also, oh, and your scarves or your tea towels. So that's what you'll need tomorrow. Your wooden spoons, your bears cuddly things for at the end um, and your tea towels or your scarves and we'll see you tomorrow it's birthday tomorrow yay see you then guys bye